What's going on guys? So we are out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we are going to take a look at this absolutely beautiful and huge Jayco Pinnacle fifth wheel. Now if you don't know, Pinnacle is the premier or the highest end version of a Jayco fifth wheel. They have two other models below it. They have the North Point and then they have the Eagle, and then their even lighter version, which is this Eagle. So, you know, it's actually essentially an order here. You have the Jayco Eagle, this Eagle, North Point, and then the Pinnacle. Anyways, we're gonna take a closer look at the Pinnacle, which again is their highest end unit, and see what this one's all about. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, before we go too much further, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So, this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,500 pounds, rides on twin 7,000 pound axles, and it has 2,315 pounds worth of cargo capacity. It is a beautiful, beautiful fifth wheel. This one has the Moride rubber pin box up front, runs the hydraulic equalizer leveling system. Different, right? A lot of people see the level up system. This is kind of its competitor. Up front here, you're gonna have your propane storage, and you may even have one more on the other side. Really nice, two 40 pound tanks. Typically you see 30 pound tanks, so it's nice to see that you have twin 40 pound tanks here. Here's your power disconnect right there. Basically kind of helps prevent parasitic draws when you're not using the RV. Up front here in the storage, it's got two strut arms that prevent it from hitting the bottom of the slide. It does have a drop frame. Huge storage area because of that drop frame. And then you have access hatches to get you into any serviceable areas, plus an access hatch behind your wet panel. And you have a place for a five gallon water bottle to feed your refrigerator and a water spigot next to it. So you can have fresh water and that's for your ice maker as well. You have your inverter up here. And then they also have a heat duct that's vented into this area to help keep things from freezing wet panel is very nicely organized. You have your equalizer leveling system up here and it is equipped with solar on board. A little access hatch for your hoses and everything to come through and it has a whole house water filtration. The baggage doors aren't terribly thick but they are relatively dense with twin slam latches. Here's the outside of your furnace. This has the Santacon Turbo, which is a waste emulsion system, kind of grinds it all up, turns it into more of a paste. Easier to get out of the system and keeps things from clogging up as much. You have your water heater right here. And this rides on a 12 inch I-beam, but with an eight inch drop beam for the drop section. Back here, you can see that they put a square tubular piece of structural steel here to raise the suspension up slightly and add some reinforcement. You can also see they've reinforced the shackle hangers right here. This is more of a premium frame when you see that done. This has Goodyear Endurance tires on it. Kind of wish they went with a higher spec tire. The tire brand is fine, but my biggest concern is the fact that these are gonna be F load range tires and I'd prefer to see at least a G load range on something this big. This has the Jayco Moride, that's the LRE 4000 suspension system. It basically has a rubber bushing in there. Gives you about four inches of travel. So that does a great job. That's actually the OEM version of the SRE 4000 that I installed on the Coachman Chaparral we had. Working our way around back, pardon the wind today. You have your electric cord reel for your 50 amp cord. This has all frameless windows. Really nice back fiberglass cap. Looks very high end, especially with the automotive style lighting back here. Does not have a rear bumper, which likely means this is gonna have a sewer hose somewhere underneath it. Uh, I'm gonna have to hunt it down if it does. But that's typically what you see. When there's no back bumper, you'll typically see a place to put a sewer hose underneath it, like you see on the back of your alliances. No bumper, but a sewer hose container or holder underneath. The receiver is designed for a cargo rack not necessarily towing a vehicle or a trailer. Coming around this side, this is a rack and pinion slide. You have a nice awning that extends off of the actual slide itself. You're gonna have an outside entertainment system right here. This is gonna be for your outside flat panel TV, complete with cable, satellite, and power hookups. Nice slam latches there as well. Coming around. You have your low point drains right here, and this is likely another propane can. 
So you have three 40 pound propane cans in this unit. That is pretty awesome. Looking in the other side of your basement storage, again, absolutely huge. And this does come equipped with the road vac, central vacuuming system. You have a little pass through here if you need to get cables into the RV. Nice aluminum framed bath deck with radiant barrier. And again, very, very heavy, dense baggage doors, even considering they're not the thickest that I've seen. I also like when you have these little spray ports out here, place to hook up a little water hose. You have your outside speakers as well. Let's step up into this Jayco Luxury, which is their Pinnacle Series 36 FBTS. Nice frameless window on the actual entrance door, as well as having a screen already pre-installed on the door. Very nice. Looking inside this unit, it's got all of its day-night roller shades pulled down, so it's relatively dark. But this is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful fifth wheel. I really, really love how Jayco has gone to this gorgeous two-tone interior where you have these really nice bright colors and then you have nice contrasting trim. Let me open up some of these windows so it's a little easier to see into. There we go. This is your dinette area. You'll have two additional chairs up front, probably under the bed. Beautiful, beautiful trim accents. Gorgeous interior. I mean, these things look absolutely stunning inside. This is your theater seating. It's also power massage and recline. There's your armrest with your power ports and everything you might need to plug your phones in right there. Coming around, you hear this is all actually battery powered and it communicates with the main smart panel via wireless communication. You have a lot of your light switches right here as well. Everything in these units just absolutely looks gorgeous. One of the reasons why you see vents in the floor here on a lot of units and not up on the sides of cabinets and counters is because your heat ducting runs straight down the center right here. And manufacturers who choose to have their duct vents or their registers point up do it for efficiency. You know, it's one of those things where it's a bit of an eyesore for some folks, but it's done because essentially, again, you have your ducting that just shoots straight down here and ends right here. And you don't have to make any awkward turns or angles. I think anybody in the HVAC industry would tell you that every time you put a, a turn, you essentially restrict some airflow so whether it's the you know return air ducts for the air conditioning systems in here or whether it's you know your furnace on the floor as many of those little kinks that you can avoid as possible give you better air circulation over here you have a televator currently up you have a wide view panoramic fireplace with JBL entertainment system beautiful cabinets I love the contrasting tones here I think it looks absolutely amazing this is interesting. So you have this interesting pull-out tray right here as well. Then you have some cabinetry, power plug. This is gonna be for your trash. More space under here. And this actually slides out. That's really nice. Up here you have your farm style sink. More storage. All of your drawers right here, very nice. A lot of storage in this unit. This does have the upgraded Insignia residential style stove oven. Beautiful cabinetry all throughout. This has the Signature Series microwave convection. Gorgeous stainless steel microwave. And then you have this really nice residential refrigerator from Whirlpool. It actually looks a lot like a gas electric refrigerator, but it's not. Very interesting. You got a bunch of drawers in here as well for storage. This is your freezer below. Nice large pantry right here. More storage up top. And then you're going to have a half bath. This is a beautiful half bath. Plenty of space in front of the porcelain foot flush toilet. Beautiful cabinetry inside. Really, really nice. 
Price on this unit, $85,999 off of $109,522. fire extinguisher right here. This has the assist for the actual steps to help lift them up easier. Here's all your controls. Bluetooth access to your Xantrex inverter. Nice little coat closet here right inside of the entrance. And then you got more storage up top here. Stepping up into the bedroom area. Beautiful bedroom has a barn style sliding door right here. And not a heck of a lot of room on the sides of the bed to get on it, but you really don't need that much. It's positioned well. Then you have another air conditioning system in here as well, another whisper quiet unit. Coming around, nice dresser at the end of the bed. TV already mounted, really nicely trimmed off. Just looks great, plus a tremendous amount of room here partially because that is a full extending slide, so it just gives you a ton of space here. And then your bed is gonna lift up to give you more storage, and those are the two chairs for your dinette. Nicely trimmed off as well. Coming into the bathroom area, you can call this the master bath since there is a half bath in this unit as well. Check this out. Tell me this is an absolutely gorgeous Phenomenally laid out bathroom, really, really great wood accent tones. The closet's simply beautiful. This is gonna be for your washer and dryer. You would simply remove these shelves and you can see your connections back here in the corner. If you don't put a washer and dryer in here, it's just an absolutely amazing storage area. Nice upgraded shower assembly, complete with fold down bench. Beautiful inside. And again, I absolutely love the dual vanity area right here, all the mirrors, all the cabinets, a lot of space around the toilet, and they give you a toilet paper holder. Believe it or not, a lot of RVs don't give you that. Absolutely gorgeous fifth wheel. I am a big fan of what Jayco does to the interiors of these units and some of the features that you get for a relatively affordable price. And I know affordability is different from person to person and lifestyle to lifestyle, but when you're talking about some units that are well over $100,000 that may not give you some of this, when you're talking in the $85,000 price range and you get some of these features, it's a good value. So. Again, I show RVs that are $20,000 and below, and I show RVs that are everywhere all the way up to $150,000 plus. And when I see a good value in a specific price range, I of course share that with you all. It's not gonna be for everybody, but it's definitely a gorgeous fifth wheel. And one thing I didn't point out is there are three AC units here. You have one right here, you have one right there that's exposed, and then you have a third one that's in the bedroom that vents into the bathroom area. Overall, gorgeous unit. Anyways, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.